Hello, this little video is going to show you how to find the area of semicircles and quadrants, which are quarter circles. Semicircle is a half a circle, a quadrant is a quarter of a circle. Okay, so only watch this video if you know how to find the area of a full circle. Otherwise, go back and watch that video first. Well, the area of a circle, the formula is pi r squared. There's another video on what pi is and how to find it and what it means. But for this video, you should already be at that stage. Pi is just the relationship between the circumference and the diameter. But watch the video on that if you want to understand it further. For this video, we're interested in what happens, not when we have a full circle, but when we have half a circle, a semicircle. Well, a semicircle used to be a full circle. So if I want to find the area of this shaded part, I first of all need to know the area of the full circle, which I would use the formula pi r squared. Now, if I'm given the radius of this semicircle, if I'm told that the radius is eight centimeters, I have to find the full circle first. So I simply say area of the full circle is pi times radius squared, eight times eight. So the area of the full circle is 64 pi. But then I'm going to cut it in half. So I won't need all of that 64 pi. I'll only need half of it. So I'm going to divide it by two. So if it's on the calculator paper, I'll go shift pi multiplied by eight squared. Press equals first and there's my 64 pi. This is leaving it in terms of pi. Well, that was for the full circle. I don't want the full circle, so I'm going to divide it by two and I get 32 pi. Obviously, 64 divided by two is 32. Probably wouldn't need the calculator at this point. However, if I press that button, I get the actual area in centimeters squared. So the area of the semicircle is 100 point. Now you're usually asked to round to one or two decimal places. So if the full answer is 5309649, watch the video on rounding to decimal places if you're not quite sure what I'm doing here, but I want two. Zero is not big enough to change the, th the three. So it's 100.53 centimeters squared for the area of that semicircle. I'm going to do another one. Whilst I'm erasing this and writing the new one, make sure you grab a pen and paper and a calculator so that you can have a go at the ones which I'll set in a couple of minutes. Here's another semicircle. This time we've got the diameter. So if the diameter is 20 centimetres, well, I know that the formula for the area of a full circle is pi r squared. Well, I've got the diameter, so I need to halve the diameter before I need the radius. So the area would be pi times, the radius is half the diameter, 10 times 10. 20 divided by two is 10. So the radius of 10 each. Well, that's 100 pi. So the full circle is, oops, sorry, let's put the number first, 100 pi, but I only want half the circle. So I've got to cut that in half. I've got to divide it by two. So the area of this semicircle is 50 pi because 100 divided by two is 50. If I want to know what that is on my calculator, well, 50 shift pi, press the S to D button, I call it the Scooby-Doo button, and we get 157 point. Now, the nine is large enough because 79 is closer to 80. Watch the video on rounding if you don't understand what I'm doing here, but this one would be 0.8 centimeters squared. The 
units for area are centimetres squared. So that's a semicircle. You find the full circle and divide it by two. Now I'm going to do a quadrant or a quarter of a circle. So let's have a look at one of these. I hope you've grabbed a paper and a pencil and a, and a calculator because you're going to have a go at some in a minute. Here's a quarter circle. Now the quarter circle is quite handy because it used to be a quarter of a circle. So these two lines here were actually radii. They were each a radius of the full circle. Can you see that? I'll do the full circle. So whatever dimension is given either here or here is the one that we plug straight into the formula. So if this was four, I don't know, centimetres, the full circle would be area equals pi r squared. So I simply plug in the four. Four times four is 16. So I've got four times four, which is the radius squared. So the area of the full circle is 16 pi. But I only want the quarter of it. I want a quarter of the full circle, so I divide by 4. 16 divided by 4 is 4 pi. So 16 pi divided by 4 is 4 pi. That's if I have to leave my answer in terms of pi, but usually they want it to one or two decimal places. So 4 shift pi equals, it's important to press equals first, otherwise the calculator won't really know what you're trying to do with it. Press Scooby-Doo and the area is 12.57 centimetres squared. Okay, let's have a look at another quadrant or quarter circle and then you're going to have a go at finding some areas of semicircles and quadrants. Here's another one. Right, I know it's a semicircle because of the right angle symbol, therefore it's 90 degrees. Well, 90 out of the 360 cancels down to a quarter. 90s into 90 goes once, 90 into 360 goes four. So I'm going to find the area of the full circle. After I've done that, I divide it by four. So area equals pi r squared. So the area equals pi. Well, I need the radius, so let's call the radius six centimetres. Pi times six squared. Well, six times six is 36, so it is 36 pi. If you're not very confident with your times tables, or these are nasty numbers with decimals, just go straight for the calculator. It will be on the calculator paper. 36 pi, I'll show you, what I'm doing here, I'm going to go um, shift pi times 6 times 6. So it's absolutely fine. I'll still get that 36 pi there. Well, I don't want the full circle. I want a quarter of it. And to find a quarter, you divide by 4. So I'm now going to press divide by 4. I get answer divided by 4. And that equals 9 pi, as you'd expect, because 36 divided by 4 is 9. Press that button and I get the area is 28.27 centimetres squared. So 9 pi divided by 4 is 28.27 centimetres squared. So what I'd like you to do now is on a piece of scrap paper, have a go at finding the area of the quadrants and the semicircles. Remember, you must find the full circle first. Here's one, a semicircle with a radius of seven centimeters. Here's a semicircle with a diameter of 18 centimeters. Now remember, if you're given the diameter, you have to halve it first. Then I'd like you to find this quadrant with a radius of five centimetres. And here's another quadrant with a radius of 8.2 
centimeters. So pause the video as long as you need to. And when you come back, make sure you watch right to the end because I'm going to show you how to combine two shapes like a rectangle and a semicircle, for example. Pause the video and have a go. Okay, so you've had a go. Hopefully you've um, written down the answers because it'd be quite difficult to remember them all in your head. Well, for this one, it's a semicircle. So the area will be pi r squared, that's the area of the full circle, and I've got to divide it by two. So I go shift pi times seven times seven is 49, so I'll get 49 pi, and then I divide it by two. 49 over two pi becomes 76.97. 76.97. Now remember the units for area are centimeters squared. Hopefully you got that right. Well done if you did. This one, a bit trickier because I'm given the diameter. It is very important I find the radius to work with. So the area of a circle is pi r squared. So I have to find the radius. I'm going to do area equals pi times, now the radius is nine. So that'd be 81. Nine times nine is 81. Well, 81 times pi, I need the semicircle. So I'm going to divide it by two and I get 127.23 centimeters squared. I hope you got that right. It's given you a little bit more confidence. Let's move on to the quadrants, the area of a quadrant. I'll do it in a different color so it doesn't get mixed up with what's going on over here. Well, I know that the full circle is pi r squared. However, I want to then afterwards, I'm going to divide it by four. Well, I've got the radius. So five times five is 25. So shift pi times five times five is 25 pi. I divide it by four and hopefully you got 19.63 centimeters squared. Have a go at this one with the calculator straight away. I know that the full circle was pi r squared, the area of the whole circle, but I need to divide it by four afterwards because I've only got a quarter of the circle. So shift pi times 8.2 times 8.2. I don't know if you can see the calculator clearly, but there's, an, there's a shortcut by pressing the X squared button here. So let me show you that. Shift pi times 8.2 X squared. That automatically squares the radius for me. And that becomes 1,681 over 25. I scooby do it and I get 211.24 centimeters squared. Hopefully that's given you a little bit of confidence. And just before we finish, I'm going to show you what to do if there are two shapes combined, a compound shape involving a semicircle or a quarter of a circle or something. So imagine I had a shape that looked like this. with a semicircle on the top. So those are the right angles, and that's a semicircle. Well, that dotted line might not be there. You might just have like an arched window or something. You will have some dimensions. So that might be seven centimeters. That could be 11. And then from the top all the way down could be something like 14 centimeters. So what I do here, I have to rely on the fact that opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So the diameter of the circle is also going to be seven. The difference between the height from the top all the way down, that 14 all the way up, 11 to there, so the extra must be three centimeters because 11 plus three make up the 14. So what I've actually got is a shape where 
I have 7, 11 and the radius of the circle is 3 because remember the radius can go up to there or across to there. So first of all to find the area of this compound shape I need to find the area of the rectangle which is length times width. There isn't a, a video on how to find the area of a rectangle. Watch that if you don't know how to find that is 77 centimeters squared. As for the semicircle, area is pi r squared. Well, the, the radius is three because all the way up was 14 and only the side of the rectangle was 11. So the difference gives us three. So that's three times three is nine. So nine pi would have been the full circle, but of course we've only got half of it. So it's 4.5 pi. So shift pi times nine divided by two gives me 14.14 centimeters squared. So the circle is 14.14. The whole compound shape, I simply add those things together. So I'm going to add the 77 and I obviously get 91.14 centimetres squared. So when it's a compound shape, you just find the, separate them into the two parts and add them together. I really hope that helped and make sure you watch the other videos and um, okay, hope that helped. Bye bye.